How is my YouTube family doing today? Welcome back to Charmin's Kitchen. Today I have another beautiful recipe to share with you all. So come on down and let's cook together. Today I'm going to be sharing a recipe for smoked fish and bygan. These are some nice smoked mackerel that I brought back from Guyana. And one of the dishes that I like to cook smoked fish in is bygan and potato. I have a lot more other dishes that I love smoked fish in, but we will see those recipe coming later. A little piece of the smoked herring goes a long way. Today I'm gonna use about three pieces that I have here. The smoked fish have less salt than salted fish. So I'm gonna rinse this quickly, soak it in some water before I boil them. So while my water was warming up, I had the smoked fish soaking in some room temperature water. I'm gonna go ahead now and I will put them into the boiling water so we can get out that heavy salt content. You can use a little piece like this and it'll flavor up the pot nicely. My sister and brother-in-law got me a few nice pieces, so big shout out to my sister and brother-in-law for the smoked fish. Just a few ingredients. I'm gonna prepare this bygan, potato, and smoked fish. The smoked fish will add a lot of flavor like I mentioned before. So while my smoked fish is boiling up, I'm gonna go ahead now and cut up my ingredients. I have one large onion here. I have some fresh green onions that I just pulled from the garden. I have some mariwiri or wiri wiri pepper. And I have some garlic. I'm gonna go ahead smash these up and they're easy to chop once you smash them up like this let me know what you're having today for dinner you already know what I am having I always cut my onion in half rinse it out a little and that helps to take away the blistery thing that make you cry and you can see how nice and big these green onions are these are from my own garden here that i'm still reaping in the month of october We still have beautiful weather here in Ontario. What's your weather like? And last but not least, my peppers. Just cut them in four. And these add lots of flavor to your cooking. So before I start cooking up my eggplant and smoked fish, I'm gonna go ahead and knead some flour to make some roti. I have here my, my all-purpose flour, some baking powder, we're gonna mix that in. And then I'm gonna go in with my room temperature water. And we're gonna knead this to a nice dough and leave it to rest. I'm making soda roti. I like to eat that with my fried bygan. So soda roti is one of the easiest and quickest roti to put together. You just knead your dough and you can cook it right away or you can leave it to rest for a bit. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave it to rest while I'm preparing my bygan. If you're new to this channel and you're not familiar with roti and would like to make this recipe, please check in the description below. You will find all the ingredients and measurement. If you love roti, this is one very simple and easy to make and you will do yourself proud. You want to make sure that you knead it until your roti is nice and smooth like this and soft. If it's hard, just add a little bit more of water and keep on kneading. If it's too soft, then you add a little bit more of flour and keep on kneading until 
it stopped sticking to the bottom of your bowl. So to smooth it off, I usually take all the ends and push them together like this. And then roll the bottom off to smooth it. I like to rest it on a little bit of dry flour to avoid sticking. You can cover this down with a tea towel. Leave it in a nice warm place until you're ready to cook the roti. My smoked fish is cooled off. I'm gonna go in and remove all the skin from it. And what I love about mackerel, it's a kind of a meaty fish. So you don't have to worry about bones. It smells really, really nice. I love smoked fish. I love salted fish and smoked fish to put in any of my vegetables. And it's coming out nice and whole like this. See? After removing the skins from the smoked fish, I thoroughly rinse it back two more times with regular water just to remove any excess salt that's hitting in the fish. I like to peel the eggplant last to avoid the oxidization, so just before I'm cooking it. And I like to cook some of the skin and remove some as well. I have a bowl here with water. While I'm cutting it, I will leave it in the water so it will avoid any oxidization. This is nice and young and great for baigan chilka. This is how I cut mine. You can cut it any way you wish. The smaller you cut them, the faster they'll cook. Edos or potatoes goes very nice with baigan. I found a heart shaped potato, so I'm sending the YouTube family some love. I'm gonna peel these up, thinly slice them, and they'll add great flavor to this dish. I'm frying up the smoked fish a little to add that nice flavor and remove the rawness from the fish. So now with the same pan that I was frying up the smoked fish with, I'm gonna go in with my onions and that will give us a lot of flavor for this dish here. So now I'm gonna go in with my garlic, pepper, green onions and I'm gonna leave some to add to the end and mix everything together. It smells really nice already. Once you're using fresh ingredients, you don't need to add too much. So now we're gonna go in with our tomato paste. You can use tomatoes as well, about two heaping tablespoon or even three, because it's gonna really give the dish a nice color and flavor as well. So once you cook out a little bit of that rawness from the tomato paste, you can go in with your potatoes. This is harder than the eggplant or the baigan, so I like to add it in just before I add my baigan or eggplant. Mix it in well so it can be nicely coated. Look at that. And let it just cook for a minute or two. So now I'm gonna go in with my eggplant or baigan. I still have it soaking in the water as you can see. So it still have a nice color and didn't get dark on me. I had to do a little bit of a switcheroo with the pan and the pot because I had more than I expected for the pan. A good mix now. And we have to be mindful of the salt in the smoked fish. So I'm gonna go in with some black pepper and a little bit of salt. When we add our smoked fish and leave it for a bit, then we'll taste and see if we need to add more. So we're gonna add about a half a teaspoon of salt. And then we'll mix this, cover it down, and leave it for a bit until it starts to spring up its own water. Now we're gonna go in with our smoked fish. Mix it up well. And this is gonna distribute evenly into the dish. 
and then we will come back in a few minutes to check out the salt content. It's really looking nice and smelling good. And now it's time for us to cook those sada roti nice and hot to go with our bygan and smoked fish. I like to make them nice and small because they are nice and fluffy inside when you make them small. I have one going here on the pan and I have four more to go. So my bygan potato and smoked fish is done. You can see all the potato is nice and soft and it is piping hot i'm gonna dish out and let you all know how it tastes before i do the taste test i have a shout out for two viewers i met lately big shout out to denise diodat who came up and say hi to me in costco i really like when i run into my viewers and another viewer i met at the airport when i was coming back from guyana so my dear friends here is my bygan potato and smoked fish look how beautiful nice and juicy this is the potatoes melting apart and so is the bygan and the smoked fish i made some little sada roti to go with it i'm gonna play it up and let you all know how this tastes when was the last time you had some nice bygan and potato it can go nice with edos as well so my little helper is going to do the taste test today. Hi Natalie. Hi. And she said, mom, this food looks so good. I believe I can do the taste test. So let me see here. We have sada roti. They like the little sada roti. And we have her bygan and the whole works here. Natalie, go in for your piece of roti. It's hot. Be careful, okay? Go fluffy it is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Take a little bit of potato. Yeah. Watch for the pepper. Yeah. Okay. Everything is hot, so be careful. Take oh, yummy this one. Nice little mouthful. Mm -hmm. Our roti here is nice and flaky and fluffy. We like when the roti is nice and fluffy inside. So you can really get to pick up your nice juicy curry or your nice juicy stew with it. That is so tasty, so amazing, a wonderful taste. And what I love the salt fish. Not that much. The smoked fish? Yeah, the smoked fish, sorry. Yeah. It, it gives a nice flavor, right? Yeah, it's can not you... too salty, but it's so good. It's, did you find little, little tiny pieces all over? Yeah. Yeah. And it's flavorful. So that is our smoked fish, our Guyana smoked fish, bygan potato, and our nice sada roti. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to t give this video a big thumbs up. Ring the bell to get more latest videos. So make sure to subscribe. Bye for now. Bye.